Hello. This short video will show you some computer exercises that I'm working on to support the science in my textbook, Introduction to Modern Climate Change. The software allows students to play with the physics and the curves and hopefully will give them a little bit more physical insight into what's actually going on in the climate system. The examples I'm going to show you come from chapter 3. So you see here a black body curve of a 6,000 Kelvin black body about the temperature of the Sun. The gray region is the visible range and there's a plot that looks very much like this in the textbook. Uh, what the student can do is the student can go and grab the slider and then move it around and you can see the black body curve actually move. So here's what a 3000 Kelvin or 3100 Kelvin black body looks like. And then we can go, we can see the black body, as the black body cools off, uh, the spectrum shifts to longer wavelengths. And eventually you can go all the way to a 255K black body and you can see it's not emitting any visible radiation, um, which is what we talked about in the book also. And so hopefully the student can play with this and get some insight. Uh, another example is are these plots right here and what these plots show is how the total amount of energy emitted by a black body varies as the temperature does. So we can go here to 1600 Kelvin and we can drag the slider and we can cool the black body off and you can see that the total energy emitted by the black body is going down as the temperature goes down. In fact it goes down as sigma t to the fourth which is uh, something that we know quite well. Um, if you look on the right hand plot, that's a plot of the energy emitted at a particular wavelength, in this case 4 microns, as a function of temperature. And as the temperature goes up, the amount of energy emitted at that particular wavelength goes up. And in fact, that's true at every wavelength. This software runs in Mathematica. For those people who don't have Mathematica, which I imagine is most people, there is a free player that the Mathematica people have put out there. Just Google CDF Player Mathematica and it will take you to a download page where you can download and install the player and then you can run the software.